One of the most expensive trials in Australian legal history has ended in WA this lunchtime, with Bradley Robert Edwards being found guilty of the murders of Kira Glennon and Jane Rimmer in the mid-1990s. Edwards has been found not guilty, beyond reasonable doubt, of murdering Sarah Spears. Reporter Francis Bell is outside the court in Perth and joins us now. Francis, what did the justice say in his judgment? Well, Lorna, as you said, Justice Stephen Hall, in a judgment that took just over 20 minutes, said that he was satisfied, given the evidence presented to the court, that he could find Bradley Robert Edwards guilty of two of the three murders. They were 23-year-old Jane Rimmer and 27-year-old Kira Glennon. However, Justice Hall said that he could not be satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that Bradley Robert Edwards was the killer of Sarah Spears, the 18-year-old secretary who was the first to disappear from the streets of Claremont in January 1990. He said it was most likely that Bradley Edwards was the killer of Sarah Spears, but he said a possibility, even a probability, was not enough to convict him, making the note that Sarah Spears's body has never been found. What was the reaction when he delivered the verdict? Well, inside the court itself, uh, there was little reaction from either Bradley Edwards or the family members who were in the court for the verdict. It was quite a sombre uh, atmosphere inside the court. But there were overflow courtrooms set up uh, in this court building and a separate court building for members of the public and the media. And I'm told that in the public gallery in the overflow court, there were cheers and, and claps and, and um, a, great react, a significant reaction from the people in that court, uh, reflecting the significance of this case. It's been a quarter of a century almost since Sarah Spears, the first victim, disappeared. So this is a case that is quite momentous in Western Australia's legal history. And what was it that led police to Bradley Robert Edwards? This has been such a complex case, an investigation that took more than 20 years and it took um, a series of wrong turns over those two decades with uh, various suspects pursued and never charged. And it took a, a significant review of the case for police to go back through all the evidence that, that they had and it essentially hinged on some DNA. So Bradley Robert Edwards has pleaded guilty previously to an, a sexual assault on a woman at Karakata Cemetery, which is not far from the Claremont night spot where these three other women disappeared from. Police were able to trace the DNA from that attack to some DNA that was found under the fingernail of Kira Glennon. It was a minuscule amount of DNA. Also, there were textile fibres found on the body of Kira Glennon and Jane Rimmer, and police were able to trace that back to a particular type of Holden Commodore that was driven by Telstra technicians at the time, and Bradley Edwards is a former Telstra technician. So there was those two pieces of forensic evidence that really were key to the police uh, investigation and eventual arrest of Bradley Edwards. As you mentioned, Francis, there has been huge interest in this case. We can see a lot of people gathered there behind you. Are you expecting that uh, family members of the three girls will come out and speak when they leave the court? We don't know if they will speak today, Lorna, and just keeping in mind how much trauma these families have been through over two decades, this case has had such an enormous impact on this city. It has shattered the lives of the people who knew and loved Sarah Spears, Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon, but it's also had such a huge impact on the city of Perth itself. For a generation of people who came of age in the mid to late 1990s, it affected the way they viewed the safety of their city. Young women in the late 1990s were afraid to leave their friends if they were gathered for socialising in the affluent night spot of, of Claremont. Parents whose daughters went out of a night were worried if they didn't come home on time. People were even, young women were even afraid to catch taxis at night because the initial murder investigation focused on taxi drivers. And then the 20 year investigation after that, it became the case that people were worried would never be solved until in late 2016, Bradley Robert Edwards was arrested at his house in outer suburban Perth. So as you mentioned, there is a huge media contingent here behind me. There has also been members of the public who are lining up outside court today to hear this verdict. So. Um, you know, this has been such an enormous um, impact on the lives of, of the, those who were closest to Sarah Spears, Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon. And I imagine they are just absorbing this verdict from Justice Hall that has only just been delivered.